Welcome to another episode of Boxes in the Basement. This is episode number 70. I appreciate you taking the time once again to take a moment out of your schedule to check out some more of my unboxing. The performance reviews comes more of a verbal illustration or a verbal explanation. The unboxing is just to show you guys the different price points, the different styles, uh, the different variations that they use with technology, and that kind of spearheads my episodes. So I appreciate you. So this is a Kyrie Low 5 or Kyrie 5 Low. So I'm just going to get into a couple focal points. Not going to make this too lengthy. As you guys know, these already been on the market. Shout out to Cat. Appreciate you. He actually got me more interested in these. Y'all know I'm a low top guy, fan of the Kobe lines that are low top. It derives from like a soccer cleat, a running shoe type style, but still has that tech in there that gives great performance. And then now you have the Pro Trolls that come out that are the performance retros. So these are actually signature shoe, but it's not the signature shoe as far as a LeBron that you have. And you have a LeBron witness or a LeBron soldier. You have your Kyrie, you know, they have the Infinity model out right now, uh, Kyrie eights. These are the actual five. So this is the fifth edition of the Kyrie low top shoe. So this is more educational unboxing, if you will. There are different things that I want to review and we're gonna go from the bottom up explanation of the shoe. Let's get into the traction. It all depends on which geographic or demographical location these releasing or sneakers releasing. When you have global releases where you will have a US release or European release or Canadian release, uh, you may have an Asian release. Sneakers that are made in China and Taiwan. You can look on the inside of the shoe. You can look in there and it will say actually where the shoe is made. So these are made in China. I'm saying that to say this. There are different molds that you have to pay attention to. So XDR is what Nike uses to make the durability of the sole more malleable. Same specs and dimensions, but as far as the quality, like the material of rubber that they're made for. So it'll be like an orange sticker. Uh, like I said, I insert that. And it will say XDR is the durable rubber that they use. And that will help the longevity of the shoe. The traction, there's different patterns, hair and bone patterns. Every sole is split differently. Some kind of are detached in the mid area of the shoe. Some are not. Some are just a full length. Some has the zoom units in the midfoot and the heel. Some just the sober boards go across the whole bottom. So you have to look and see what works for you and what model adheres to your foot the best and your style of play the best. So anyone can look up the material. You can look on the box, normally on the back of the box, you can go online on the website of the company and search what it is. But for the sake of time, I'm not gonna go into each actual rubber that they use or material that they use. You go with what works best for you. I have some more coming in. Some of my duplicated, you know, I gotta double up on some of them. I so choose to pick these two boxes because those are the ones on the market right now. All of them come in this box to my left, your right. And this is the N7 box. So it has the N7 on there. And that's a part of my heritage, part Native American. So that N7 line speaks to it. I love that colorway, just the whole silhouette of it. I love the specs on this. The jewel lines, these are the jewels. You can go on Nike.com and see these are the two that they have. Some of the shoes go on sale before others if they're a campaign shoe and they're attached to a specific designer. And normally the ones that have been out for a longer period of time, get discounted first. They had different sales for Nike. I know they had Style 20, which was like the end of the summer style, get your style ready for going back to school. And then they had Summer 20, which was 20% off of the price point. Some sneakers on Nike are excluded and you can't use it, but the ones that are, you can get a pair of these for like 70 to $80, depending on if you have to pay taxes in your area or what have you. I played, worked out and or trained in all of them. So I'm a fan of all of them. The model for me works. Once again, shout out to Cat, I appreciate you. Was waiting to get them and no one that I knew that had them gave me a good review on them. I watched some videos online, did a little research. I appreciate you taking the time once again, episode 70 of a box in the Basement, the unboxing. We're not in the basement, but we're in my green screen room. Thank you once again. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, shoot me a DM, post a comment. If you would like, I'm gonna put the YouTube channel in my bio so you can just click on that and then you know support the channel, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you.